When producing your own videos or making videos for a client, you want your shots to look great. Unfortunately, you may not always have the luxury of space to create the setup that you envision, especially when filming at a client's offices or your own studio. Take this video for example. Our studio is actually quite small, and if we pull the camera back you can see what we're working with. The simplest and most effective tip to make your setup look bigger is to move your subject away from the background. You'll find this tip in every tutorial on this topic, so here are some more specific tips. Make use of the depth of field and focal length on your lens. Pick a focal length that either hides obvious identifiers of the size of your room or enhances its scale. If you have a lens with a long focal length, use it to hide features that show the size of your space. For example, side walls, uh, and this is more of a standard setup that you'll see on YouTube or interview videos. If you have a wide angle lens, use it to enhance the scale of the scene. Move your subject even closer, making use of the wide field of view. This technique can often be seen in travel videos where someone is working with limited resources. With both lenses, try to stop them up as much as possible to create a shallow depth of field. This will obscure your background and make it harder to gauge the scale of your setup. Get interesting objects in your background. This can be as simple as using an LED light to give you a coloured backdrop, which is an ultra compact way of adding some interest. If you have slightly more space, you can try dropping objects into the back, a desk with a computer, a light, a pot plant, just get something in there. A tip you'll see floating around currently is the just use an AI set extension tip. This is a solid tip, but isn't a complete solution for everybody. First, you need access to software with generative AI capabilities like Photoshop. Next, depending on what other objects are in your space, you may not get quite the set extension you wanted. And lastly, as AI doesn't generate moving objects very well, you're limited on how much extension you can actually add before you're crawling around at the bottom of your scene. If you want to stay central, you may find yourself adding objects into the foreground, like tables, to hide the fact that you've got no legs. We're not AI haters though, it's definitely a good tip, but it's the final tip in a chain of steps rather than an overall solution. I hope that helps you to get your setups looking better. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found the video useful, and if you didn't then leave us a comment below with your tips for making a setup look bigger.